games come just happened so mm. much origins so much origins and we haven't really i mean we talked about origins a lot with luma right but, but it was just kind of general like his thoughts on stuff nick's thoughts on stuff you know yours and mine but lots of news lots of news man games come fucking crazy the for cinematic trailer and everything like that and mm. a bunch of demos and all these ign first videos which by the way have been amazing oh yeah, I'm like who's great. Give whoever's idea that was to be like, let's just do with IGN, like they'll cover it and just a bunch of exclusive videos specific on certain topics. I'm like, that's genius. Promote, give mm. a pay rise to whoever came up with that idea. Genius. Just like make your game look as good as possible. I don't know if it'll be good or turn out good, but they've suddenly made it look fucking good. They've mm. sold me. Tell you what, I'm ex- dude, I'm excited for Origins, man. I'll tell you what now. I'm sitting here like, fuck, I can't wait. That's it. I'm really that's excited to play. That makes me happy. Yeah, I know. Can you believe I'm saying this right now? I, I know, can't. That's why. That's why it makes me so happy because you've always, even though you've been like, Origins looks great, you've been like, oh, I mean, I don't even know if I'm going to play it. No, once I realize I'm like free and for justice, I'm like, no, I have to. Can't. There's no choice. <laughs> but, there's, but, but there's no choice. But yeah. I th- honestly, do you know what sold me? I was watching mm-hmm. the high level gameplay, the 10 minutes of high level gameplay Yeah. Um, from IGN, and I was just like, this, this this looks fucking sick. Like I I again, I'm I'm still skeptical about the narrative, right? Like I don't yeah, know if the narrative will be good. I'm worried about what they did with Syndicate and mainly Syndicate. You say Black Flag as well. Or just in terms of like, even if there's a half decent story there, like the missions are just terrible. So like mm. they don't even tie in well. Like the just story missions is boring to play. Whether it be too many tailing missions, just long tedious nonsense, like. The syndicate yeah. just has so much tedious nonsense. But I think they're changing re- that, aren't they? Because, 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 because they've said, like Ashraf said so many times, there's no constraints anymore. Like, if you... if it, There's nothing that's going to say you have to do the stealth thing, and if you fuck up the stealth, then mission failed, or you have to tail this guy. And if you don't, like, manage that, then it's mission failed. Like, because it's like RPG, and there's never any constraints in RPG games. Only the odd time. And so, if they're taking that approach, it means missions would be way more fun, because you can do whatever the fuck you want to do the missions plus the things are always active in the world it's like you know like something like skyrim when like you don't have to have the quest to end up accidentally completing a quest because it's always there in the world you might stumble across something doing it's like oh shit i just accidentally completed a quest it's horizon or skyrim it's Mm. the best way to do it you know you don't have to force yourself to sit there and complete the entire story mission or side mission yeah it's just you just start and it's great yeah it's, it's it's genius i mean the whole rpg element like you said like I would have argued against it three or four years ago, right? But, like, I'm like, mm. who cares at this point? Just do what you want to do, reinvent it. But once you do this kind of reboot, so let's stick with this. Yeah, let's see yeah. how, what we can do with this. Let's build from this. Let's create a base. And I think this is a great concept base. And I think there's a lot you can do with it. Sure, I want to see social stuff come back in future installments, sure, right? Like yeah. we talked about last time. But that's kind of the only major gameplay element I feel like is very important that's missing. Everything else is pretty solid. Mm. I think it's... I get, so, like I said, the narrative, very skeptical on will the missions be fun in ter- with the narrative? I don't know. That, that's stuff we'll never know until we play it. But I'm, as a game, it looks fucking fun as shit. It's a great setting. Gameplay looks fun. Uh, the world looks beautiful, uh, robust. It looks like a great time just to explore. I just love going around kind of like doing collectibles and side activities. That's what I love doing in games. So it, I know it's going to be fun to do. The progression looks fun. All the customization looks great. So seeing the high level gameplay from how your character starts off and then they just skip to this like ultra high mm. level game. I'm like, fuck, that looks cool. I want to get to that point, you know? Mm. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Something that Jamie just said, I agree with as well, is... Something they did in Horizon Zero Dawn they fell back on a lot was following the purple trail with the focus. You'd just be like, highlight track, and you just follow that. And that was a lot of the missions in Horizon. Hopefully they don't have yeah. anything like that um, yeah, too much. It wasn't much. too bad, but yeah, I it was see what a lot. It was a, they, it did, they did a it lot. Was, it, it, was did, a it wasn't lot. too it was bad, but, you know, there's that. And with regards to social stealth, I mean, we're pretty certain it's not in the game. But we're not, I mean, there's nothing, I don't think that's been confirmed yet, so. No. We're not sure. I mean, there are scenes where you've seen you can still hide in tall grass and things like that, and the like the same sort of blendy thing, animus thing, will go around Bayek and the area he's in. So it could be possible that when you enter a large crowd, the same thing happens, but we don't know because we haven't seen it. So, not sure, but I'm not holding out any hope. I feel like it's not in there. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree, but 
there's room for the future and hopefully mm. that it's at least addressed at the very least it's imp- it has to be addressed in my opinion or else I'll I'll be at least I'll be you know upset about that um mm. but it is what it is what did you think of the cinematic trailer I thought it was really nice. I think it was one of the better ones in recent years because I think a lot of them have been quite forgettable and boring, but I quite liked that one, especially the end scene with Bayek fighting all those dudes. It was really fucking cool. It was just a nice just a nice trailer, I think. I I mean, I did enjoy it. I kind of felt like it was I mean, I actually really I found it interesting story-wise cuz I actually think it was very important to the storyline of the mm. game and how it's kind of going to be structured because it starts off because it's showing obviously we kind of are getting the vibe that these villains are this group what are they called the mask group this mask group um the uh the order of the ancients order of the ancients yeah, yeah order of the ancients yeah so i mean we're all pretty certain they're not templars they're actually juno's cult right or at least some sort of branch of that at mm-hmm. least in my yeah, mind yeah. that's what i'm suspecting them to be especially because they're kind of like a bluish mask as well it just seems like some sort of juno cult I mean, sure, and, yeah. but but you see the influence through Egyptian culture, through pharaohs and the building of the pyramids, and then it kind of skips through to Cleopatra's time and the time of origins, and the fact that these cults are still around and still controlling the pharaohs mm. of Egypt. So it's like I'm interested to see, and I kind of it kind of feels like a unity kind of thing at least, where there's going to be a segment where it's early years before, you know, even hundreds of years before. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Where there's like at the start of Unity, there was that flashback uh, to the 1300s, the medieval times yeah, with, with awesome. the Templars, the Knights Templar. That's what I kind of got the vibe from, um, a way to explain uh, the fact that these, uh, the Order of the Ancients are around, and that could be the Darius mm. parts or something like that, uh, where you get, maybe it's an hour long, maybe it's longer, maybe it's shorter, but there's a segment of the game that, uh, yeah, that it's kind sense. of like the, the prologue. To, to origins of the storyline. I think that probably makes the most sense, especially because they're obviously trying to communicate the fact that these Order of the Ancients have been influencing Egyptian politics and culture for hundreds of years, almost thousands of years, actually, you know? Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. And I mean, they could they're easily... even mum- They're even the ones mummifying the... Mm, um, true the pharaoh in in the trailer and then it flashes forward and shows the pyramids get built and then cleopatra's there looking at a map of it yeah that's like, true and i mean with the with the with the fact that we think they've been around for a while you could have the introduction section or whatever be with darius that could introduce what's going on and then you could have a huge link between darius to bayek a lot of what bayek does could be influenced by things he finds relating to darius so interesting yeah that's interesting but it also gives uh, – you've also got, obviously, the Juno events. So that mm. might not even be modern day. That could actually be set at the time or kind of give you some vibe of the orders in – the not order – yes, yeah, order of the ancients kind of influence of yeah, the Egyptian possible. culture as well. Another thing, actually, that I want to bring up that I don't know if you've seen is there's a certain gameplay where Bayek goes into a pyramid, into a tomb, and he enters this one room and dialogue comes up and he says something like this is where my quest began or my journey began or something like that in this like tomb area and there's like this uh, angle piece on of a table and he goes over to it but you can't interact with it it says not available for the demo so i don't know what that's all about but it seems it's possible that my theory was correct that i said bayek for some reason goes into some temple interacts with like a piece of eden or first sieve that sends him on his journey and it seems that's what they're doing so i think i was i think i was correct with that